So you recently introduced, or the last day I think, uh, a new uh, management platform, um, Control Center or something? Uh, it? It's called uh, Asset Management Operations Center. Um, so, so think about, uh, you know, it, let's extend the, the, the enterprise use cases a little bit. So they want to uh, um, understand where the, this truck is and, right. in, and get instrumentation data off the truck, but they also want to know where the cargo is, where are the trailers, and what is in the back of the truck where are those assets? And they also obviously want to know where the human driver is right. and the health of the driver and, and having that the driver have a connected tablet, for example, to access inventory or dispatch services and so on. So Asset Management Operations Center is all around assets uh, that are dispersed for an enterprise across different places. It could be assets that are uh, passive assets like cargo packages, um, it could be pharmaceuticals, inventory, it could be active assets in the sense that these are assets that are generating data. Think of generators um, that you have deployed. So, so the operation center allows you to, uh, it's a flexible solution that allows you to connect any of these assets right. and capture data from them. Um, it's designed to be very flexible. It can connect to any cloud. It can connect to a, a myriad of devices. We have a catalog of devices we launched with. Uh, it is also flexible on the network. Some of the assets are better connected through cellular. Others are connected through satellite. Others could be connected through a Wi-Fi network. So it's a flexible platform that allows you to connect all kinds of assets. And, and you know, with IoT, it's not normally about a single provider. You, I assume you've got a partnership or an ecosystem of partners that you're doing this with? That, that is correct. The, uh, the, so, uh, for example, we obviously provide the networking capabilities, the security capabilities, and in this case, the actual uh, platform and application, uh, the thin application layer, if you will. But we have a bunch of device partners that we're launching with. So if you need a device that is solar chargeable, that can have a two-year, three-year battery life, um, you know, we have a device partners for that. Uh, if you're looking for specific device partners that, you, that may want to use LTEM, uh, right. a, 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 our low power network technology, then we have devices for that. Uh, and then also we have cloud providers that we are partnering with. So we launched this very first version with Microsoft. Right. So we're using uh, Microsoft Azure cloud platform. And we are also using several other components from Microsoft, like Power BI, Document DB, and others. So, will it just be on a single cloud, or will it be on? But today, it's on, on the Microsoft cloud, but in the future, it can be deployed on any other cloud. Uh, it's based on AT&T's uh, platform called IoT, uh, IoT platform called Flow, okay. and the Flow is deployable in any cloud environment. Uh, but we have a, a, a launch partnership here with Microsoft. Excellent. And security, I guess, is a key part of that. Security right? end to end. So you know, devices, the network layer, obviously, um, and the application layer. Um, now, security obviously is relative. So in, in the commercial space, there are certain requirements we have to meet. Uh, but then, when you go into government, you go into say selling into Department of Defense or Army or and they have assets to track and fleets to manage uh, so they have encryption requirements that are higher they have uh, other security requirements device firmware uh, access requirements uh, data on different types of clouds uh, so we have to look into security end-to-end -end, um, and as part of the solution we will offer security end -to -end.